We're going to start with conic section engineering course. So first part, we'll go through with the basics of conic section. How we obtain different conic section. As a name, different sections obtained from the cone. So this is cone which I'm drawing. This is axis of cone. So if I cut this cone like this, means perpendicular to the axis of cone, I will see this as circle. If the axis of cut is like this, means inclined to the axis of cone, I will see this shape as ellipse. Next, if the axis of cut is cutting this base as well as this cone generator like this, then I can see this shape as parabola. And last one, if this is the axis of cut, I will say this this shape as hyperbola. So conic sections are different sections obtained from the cone by cutting this cone in a three different ways. So if I cut first parallel to the base or perpendicular to the axis of cone, I will get circle, ellipse, parabola and hyperbola. So as name suggests conic sections different sections obtained from the cone by cutting the cone in three different ways. So I'll get ellipse, parabola and hyperbola, right? So this is the basics. Now, there are two methods to draw ellipse, parabola and hyperbola as per our syllabus. So first method is a rectangle method So now we'll see first a rectangle method, it is also called as oblong method. So first we'll see this, how to draw ellipse by rectangle method. So a simple question, the question number one, draw ellipse if major and minor axes are 100 mm and 70 mm respectively. So this is the question, very simple. Draw a lips when major and minor axis is 100 and 70 mm respectively. So by rectangle method or other name as oblong method, how to draw ellipse. So first, I will construct a rectangle of given dimensions. So let's say I'm drawing a rectangle.
So first step, construct a rectangle of 100 by 70. This is a rectangle. Let's say I'm giving a notations as a different corners. Let's say P, Q, R, S. Now divide this rectangle in four equal parts. Just find out its midpoint. So this total is 100 mm. Half will be 50. This is 70, so I will find out its half divided in equal part 2, so that means 35. Let's say this point is O. Give the names as this point as A, B, C and D. So rectangle method or oblong method for conic section as ellipse. Question is draw the ellipse when major and minor axes are 170 mm. So first step I need to construct a rectangle of 100 by 70. So I have drawn rectangle of 100 mm. 70 mm is this as vertical distance. Find out this center point. Divide this in equal parts. Now consider this part only. O to A and A to P. So I need to divide this AO line and AP line in equal number of parts. So as this is 50 mm, I will take 5 number of parts. If you are dividing this line in 5 parts, this should be in 5 parts. You may take 4, 6 also. For convenience, I am taking 5 parts. So let's say first point is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the last one will be 5. This center has 5 points. So just divide this AO line in 5 equal parts. So first point will be 0, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Similarly, divide this OP in 5 equal parts as this total is 100. So this will be 35. So I will divide in 5 equal parts, so 7 millimeters. So let's say 1, 2, 3, Four, and this one last one will be 5 so I have divided this distance and this distance equal number of part that is 5 now join this points with point B so First step, you draw a rectangle 100 by 70. Second, divide this distance in equal 5 parts, this and this. Join this 5 parts with the point B. Similarly, this 5 part with the D. Now, Intersection of this corresponding projectors will be your final points on the curve. So extend this D to 1 line onto the one side. This is your first point P1. Extend this D to 2 point on this projector. Second point. This is D to 3 line. Extend it onto the third 3 to B line. D to 4 on 4 to B line. So yes, now we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 point on the curve. So this is first point and this is B is 1. Join this all point.
join this all points through free end curve so join this b o and all this four point p1 p2 p3 p4 and this one now let us say this is p1 just draw a line parallel to this just draw projectors similarly project this point p1 p2 p3 and p4 now take a compass as it is symmetric object from this b to d as minor axis this is exactly mirror image so from this axis i will take this distance in compass this and i will mark on this side that's it similarly from this on the second point which i have drawn i'll just copy here mark here third take this distance in compass mark with the same point on this x similarly last one p1 point from this this mark here same take this distance on projector vertical distance of p1 mark same for point p2 mark on same projector so accordingly i will get the smooth curve point p4 so for people take this vertical distance mark same distance so now you can take a projectors again from this point same repeat the process take this distance mark here so i got this point all this points join by using free end curve so this is ellipse by rectangle method so in this how we have drawn the rectangle method that is for ellipse first draw a rectangle 100 by 70 this is major axis this is minor axis first divide this rectangle in equal four parts so just half part for major axis half part minor axis so i got this point o now consider this point a b c d on major and minor axis divide ap and ao distance in equal number of parts so i have taken this in five parts this distance in five parts join this five parts with b and this five part with the d so you can see the projectors this orange colors and blue colors the intersection of these two projectors will be the point on the curve once you get this four points just take its projections of all this point which you get in the first quadrant then 
just take a projections parallel to this x and parallel to y and as a symmetric distance you need to mark about major axis this ac and about minor axis bd so and you will get this smooth curve as ellipse